How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Top 5 Exposed Modules. So before we proceed, keep in mind that your device needs to be rooted and should have Exposed Framework installed. As usual, the links will be down in the description below. So the first module on the list is Android Anify. So as the name suggests, this module ports some of the features of the Android's latest version, Android N, and I must say it does a pretty good job of doing it as almost all the features are here. Speaking of features, you get the Android N style notification drawer along with the new notification style. Other features include changes to the settings menu. It now displays some important information directly on the dashboard like this. You can also play around with the status bar, bar header and the recents panel. Guys, there is so much to tweak in this module. Hell, there's even an option to replace your stock easter egg with a new Android N easter egg. So do check this module out. So next up in the list is iPhone. This module guys is entirely dedicated to fonts. The best part about this app is that it's not limited to English fonts alone. You can also get fonts for many different languages here, ranging from French, Spanish, Arabic, etc. There's also a feature here where you can load fonts from external sources. All you have to do is copy it into the app folder and you're good to go. Per app font option is also available if you're into that kind of thing. So do check it out guys. The next module on the list is purely for aesthetic purposes. It's called Kmod and it allows you to theme WhatsApp. You can theme almost each and every part of the app and make it look like a completely different app altogether. As you can see, there are options to customize the interface, calls, chats, contacts and so on. There is a lot to customize and this is why I absolutely love Android over iOS. Once you're done customizing to your heart's content, you can go ahead and back up your theme. If you don't like theming yourself, you can go to the Kmod XDA developers page and download a theme from there and apply it. So the next module is kind of like a plugin for Instagram. It's called Zoom for Instagram and yes, it allows you to zoom on Instagram pics. I still have no clue why this feature is not baked into Instagram. The module however does not stop with Zoom capabilities. It also allows you to download the pictures as well. All you have to do is open up the image in full screen and hit save. It does not cause any issues with the Instagram app and it's definitely worth a download. So the final module in the list is a cool app by the name Navbar Media Visualizer. It displays a music visualizer like this on your navigation bar. If you head on to the settings, you can change up the visualizer type between vertical lines, triangles, horizontal line and points. My personal favorite is the uh, vertical lines. You can also change up other stuff like uh, visualizer colors, animations, container etc in the settings. So do give this module a try if you're bored of your phone and want to spice it up a bit. So that's it for the video guys. Thanks a lot for your support and as always see you in the next video.